Florida and the legendary Orange Bowl, the home of some of football's best games and the home of some memorable additions of the Miami Hurricanes. Both of those came together for another classic just a few weeks ago when the mighty Gators were in town and Florida led Miami by 23 points. But then the Canes come back. Gore heading for the first down and he's got it. It's a touchdown. So they're 4 0 and they can get better as this tonight Kellen Winslow has a breakout game. Frank Gore getting closer to the form we saw two seasons ago. The Miami defense led by a safety as good as there is in Sean Taylor and the heart of the defense in the middle linebacker Jonathan Vilma. Tonight those stars on display in South Florida as college football Thursday welcomes you to the Orange Bowl where Miami has the nation's longest home win streak. They've won 24 in a row number two in the country taking on the Mountaineers of West Virginia. And getting first downs is the key to this offense. Fumble the football. It's free and Miami gets it. Nobody knew the ball was on the ground and Jonathan Vilma comes up with the recovery. So fumbles the ball. He hasn't been in the ball game at all. I don't understand why they took Quincy Wilson out of the ball game doing too well, Kurt. Uh, so many new people just trying to gain some confidence the sheet is in the players around him. Second and four. Wilson lost the football. It's been kicked around a few times and we'll see who's at the bottom of the pile. Jonathan Vilma might have knocked it away. He's sure Miami has it, and they do. This is a big part of Miami Hurricane football, creating turnovers. Mike, you're right. Vilma got in there with a left forearm to knock the ball loose, and Miami's opportunistic once again, creating turnovers. And West Virginia gets the ball right back. And the defense comes back right away. And Warren Harris comes up on first down. This is their best starting point for 21. And they'll be a couple of yards farther back as Wilson is brought down. Brian Potta again is the freshman as we have thrown right where it had to be, right in scrap. Winslow, the lead blocker for Gore. First steer across the 30. First down for Frank out at the 34 yard line. Gore, uh oh, he's grabbing his leg here. Frank Gore may have hurt his leg. Gore right away was reaching for that left leg. Remember, Frank Gore tore two ligaments in his right knee last year in a game against Pittsburgh. As you said, it was the right knee that had the total reconstruction done back last year. Yeah, geez, you, you hope. Miami obviously hopes he's okay, but for this kid as well who went through the rehab that Jerry talked about, he doesn't want any help. He wants to force his way off the field. Halfbacks in the game, and this is KJ Harris at the big pass catch earlier, less than a yard. Brian Potter and John Square, the young ends, made the play. Now may take on a far different role. Third and six blitz underneath the All America tight end Winslow. First down at the 42 yard line. And Lee answers Lee now. Second down, good strike thrown by Berlin. And that same moves by Roscoe Parrish across the 35. Tonight. Second and ten. The screen to Peyton with people to block by Vernon Carey. Clear the way. First down. From the West Virginia 22. A lot of passing. This looks like the Florida game there behind. And then put it up for grabs. Gathers got free. I don't know if he's in the end zone. I think the ball. They say touchdown. More comfortable in the shotgun. Remember the Florida game in the second half here. Plenty of time. There are big, big... Rock Berlin, 5 of 7 on the drive. 66 yards and the touchdown to Gathers. Now the pressure goes back to Rashid Marshall in West Virginia. They have to answer the Canes. who come back to tie it at 7. Show nothing negative with the ligaments. Miami defense aroused. Wilson... Worm back to the 25, a loss of two, and spread the wealth to the different players you have out there. Nice pass nice. to the tight end. Winslow went up and caught it 15 yards, or 10 yards, excuse me. What? Penny hasn't missed from under 40 yards. And you see that announcer jinx isn't always true. He still hasn't missed from <laughs> under 40 yards. 
And Miami comes back from down 7 nothing at the quarter. They've scored the last 10. Rich Rodriguez's offense has hit a little bit of a wall. Let's see what happens when you come back. First and 10. Drive starts from the 31. Five options to throw. Garrett Payton out of the backfield. Shotgun seems to really feel like find a comfort zone. There's plenty of time here to attack downfield. Look at the receiver. Comes back left to Ryan Moore. Gets out of bounds. Peyton will pick up the blitz. Winslow crossing at the five. Fishing for the night for West Virginia from its own 35. Quincy Wilson. No game. Second and ten. Doc went with the Mountaineers. Brook field position for Miami to start tonight. It's own 15. Berlin to throw. Pass to Kevin Everett, the other tight end. Six, six, big as a bull, strong as an ox. Took him out to the 34. Play, and the Kevin Winslow is bringing that attitude back to Miami. Here he is, ball in hand. In going for the first down marker. Now get back in the huddle. Great play. You don't need to say anything. Just get back in the huddle. And I like to look for Lance Frazier, pick up a 13. Coach. I'd like to add one thing. Compet and from the right. Out of Matt Carter's hold. The kick is good. Winslow a couple of big catches to get him in field goal range. Miami retakes the lead. Now Rashid Marshall and West Virginia have to answer. They did last time they were trailing. This season in their careers. Pressure on. Marshall got out of his hands. Loss of two as D. Alston was lucky to hang on. Sean Taylor hit him and hit him hard. Second and 12, option look, snuffed out by Miami. And Brian Potter got over there for the early input. Vilma cleaned it up at the end. And they were able to get Kellen Winslow more involved in the passing game and running the football out of the eye kind of opened it up. But a lot of it had to do with Winslow picking up some blocks here. Of course, we're very critical of him and his emotions. He needs to control that. He's trying to spark his team. And you hit Kellen Winslow on the run. He's going to do some great things for you. And he's, his battle with Adam Jones continues. That's something to watch here the rest of this game. Number nine, 5'10", 190 pounds. Adam Jones has held his own against Kellen Winslow. He does bring an attitude of strength on the field. He's working against Ryan Moore. Now Moore breaks free and picks up the first down. This left third quarter, and they only lead by three. Berlin's throw. Caught by Paris, who got double bang there. Jones said the ball came out as he and Grant Wiley combine on the hit. That's a good nine-yard pickup. Let's go down to Doc Punch. Guys, we call Adam Jones Pac-Man all night long, and you wonder why he got the name Pac-Man. I asked him today at the hotel. He said his mom gave him that name because when he was a baby, he would munch down on the nipple like the little Pac-Man character you see munching down on the, whatever he's going against. And he asked his mom, he said, did you have to continuously buy new bottles of nipple for me? She said, no, I was breastfeeding, but I did spend a lot of money, though, on ice packs. Ouch. That's killed him with inside stuff. Yeah, that's that yeah, is really a little bit too much. Of <laughs> Field goals and defense become huge late in the game like this. From 43, Penny is good. John Petty continues to impress. As a redshirt freshman kicker out of Clearwater, he has made three field goals here tonight. He lied on Steve Spurrier to do so much of that. Second and five, good opportunity for Peyton across 40. Tim Sykes, their safety, Frank Gore, they're running back to knee injuries. If they've wrestled control back in the third, start the fourth with a lead. Crack throw into Kellen Winslow. Oh, he ran over his man to get to the 36. He knocks Scott Jerko through the Orange Bowl turf. Football player Kellen Winslow is. He's gotten so physical this year. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Field goals tonight. This a 31-yarder to make it a two-score game. And strong freshman kicker here for Miami. The old coach called it. He said third quarter. Looked at it and said, dude, defensive field goal game. Miami three field goals here in the second half. Thank you. You know what? You're all right. Well, I like hanging out with the Sunshine Scooter. 19-10, Canes by nine. Quarter, if they get close. Marshall Crusher, first second of the night by Warren Harris. The boys, 10.30 a.m. Eastern, live from Austin. From the 20, Berlin rolls and throws, caught by Winslow. First down at the 31. Sports center coming up, you're in four down territory. You don't need to run a 15-yard play here. Correct. Third and 13. You know you're going to 
go for it on fourth down. Screen, works it. Good luck. Oh, he got a great play! Down the sideline, first down and more! Is he there? still going? Touchdown! An unbelievable run! Second effort. What determination. He's run for nearly 100 yards tonight. He beat Vince Wolford, one of the best D tackles in the country. One of the best safeties in Sean Taylor. Got down the sideline, delivered the blow to Merriweather, smelled the end zone, and now the Mountaineers are two minutes away from one of the biggest wins in the history of West Virginia football. And pick up the first down. 36 regular season wins, 25 in a row in the Big East, 24 in a row in the Orange Bowl. They've got to pick up fourth and 13. Going throws. Three. One minute left. They're still alive. They need about 20 yards to get the field goal range. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable effort by Kellen Winslow to go up, turn his body, and then lean across for the first down. From the 43, one timeout remaining. Rushing three. Eight cover for the Mountaineers. Peyton out of the backfield to the 41-yard line. First down, clock stops to move the chains. From here, it's a 58-yard field goal for Berlin. They will throw it, waiting for somebody to clear. He comes back to Kevin Beard, who's out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Time. If they make this field goal, that catch <laughs> saved Miami Hurricanes' undefeated season up to this point if they hit the field goal. Unbelievable night for Kellen Winslow and a catch to put that exclamation point behind that uh, performance. A very, very important. 28-yard kick inside the hash. 23 yards for Petty. And here we go. Snap it. Hold good. The kick is good. They need to buy time for the length of throw. That's uh, halfway down the field. It's up in the air. And it's intercepted by Sean Taylor, who goes down and shows the relief for the Canes as Miami has survived barely. Winslow with a visit for Wilton. Otis Wilton's son, the former great NFL linebacker. I'm sure people will call on that cell phone when they saw his son make what would have been one of the more memorable touchdowns in Mountaineer history. Would have been up there with the heroics of Amos Zaraway and Major Harris of recent Mountaineer days and Hostetler of generations before. But number two Miami escapes and survives. 22 to 20. Our Wrangler player of the game, John Petty, five field goals tonight, including the game winner, his Miami record fifth, keeps the Canes undefeated. We'll see you in a couple of minutes to wrap this baby up on SportsCenter. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, Dr. Jerry Punch, and all the women and men on our ESPN College Football Thursday team, this is Mike Tirico. Thanks for watching this presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more college football info, log on to ESPN.com, keyword college football. Good night from the Orange Bowl, where the Kings survived. We'll see you in a minute on the other side of SportsCenter.